guys, I'm here with some Monday motivation for sober motivation. So today, starting out my new workout routine. I'm gonna be hitting some chest today. You guys are putting on weights and it uh, feels uneven, make sure you change that thing up. So keeping it equal the whole time you're trying to lift on um, both sides of the bar is important. Don't just try to push through it just because um, I believe ego when you're trying to lift is going to work against you drastically in the long run. So don't do that. Alright guys, that was the five minute rest period. Twenty-five pounds. Let's get it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Good shit. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. All right guys, going into the decline bench press. Same thing, keeping it with my auxiliary lifts. So this is gonna be three sets for six to eight reps, keeping it at the six rep range. All right, so doing the first decline bench press. 68 reps. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. 68 reps. Decline. Bench press. 68 reps, keeping the same weight. One, two, Third set. One, two, three, Next workout is going to be some chest flies. Look at how funny this thing looks. 
see how how it goes. I only do one bicep workout so hopefully you guys can see uh, what I'm doing and see if it if you guys can put it to use for yourselves so here we go <sighs> kind of awkward because I got this friggin bullflex dumbbell but if you see I got my elbow on my knee and then come up turn your pinky into your bicep more rotation of your pinky and your bicep, the more of a contraction your bicep gets. So do that. And these, sometimes I'll do them to failure, but today I'm only gonna do probably eight of them like I've been doing with the others. But if you just wanna get some bicep pump in, do them to failure. Really get the bicep contraction that you want out of it. I haven't really done these in a while, but I can kind of see, still see the fact that since I used to do them so much that it hasn't gone completely away. But do what you gotta do. And if these don't work, honestly, this isn't a cookie cutter plan for anybody. If you need to do a different bicep workout, to get whatever sort of results you need for your biceps and do that. Don't <sighs> say you're gonna do an exact workout. The exact same workout as anyone else. If it's not working for you, it doesn't matter. <sighs> it burns. It doesn't matter if it doesn't work for anybody. If it works for anybody else, but it's not working for you, fucking change it. If you do better with barbell curls, doing them straight, and that's how you get a better pump, then do those. That's what I say. Do what gets you the results you need. And when I get to Friday or arm day, I'll show you what I do for all my different parts of my arms. So that's why, that's why I did that. That's why I do an arm day because there are a bunch of different muscle groups in your arms. So if you're trying to make them grow, like I like to, then you've got to target them a little bit better. So that's why I throw in an arm day so I can hit my biceps at different angles. And that's pretty much it. All right guys, that was it. That was my sober motivation for Monday. Get my chest workout in, my first chest workout in for probably a few months doing the new workout routine. I hope you guys follow it and I hope you guys like and subscribe to this video 
and I will see you guys all soon.